the quest to explain everything in the universe could begin again. And at its heart would be this new theory. It was dubbed Membrane Theory, or M-Theory. But so enigmatic and profound did the idea seem that some thought M should stand for other things. M-Theory. Where M stands for magic, mystery, or membrane. M theory. Physicists get kind of dreamy eyed when they talk about M theory. M theory. Maybe M stands for mother, the mother of all strings. Maybe it's magic. Maybe it's the majesty, the majesty of a comprehensive theory of the universe. M theory. Magical mystery, madness. M theory. With M theory, it seemed at last there was a theory which might explain everything in the universe. But before they could decide if this was true, the scientists needed to know more about this new 11th dimension. It quickly became clear it was a place where all the normal rules of common sense have been abandoned. For one thing, it is both infinitely long, but only a very small distance across. That 11th dimension, well, at its maximum size, could be something like a trillionth of a millimeter. Well, this is 10 to the minus 20 of a millimeter. That's uh, taking a millimeter and dividing it by 10 with 20 zeros after it. So that's very, very small. That means that it exists only one trillionth of a millimetre from every point in our three-dimensional world. It's closer than your clothes to your body. And yet we can't sense it. In this mysterious space, our membrane universe is floating. At first, no one could imagine how that worked. Then some suggested it might float like a thin rubber sheet. Others, that it might be more like a bubble which vibrated as it was blown aimlessly across hyperspace. If all this wasn't surreal enough, it was then proposed that there might be another membrane universe pulsating at the opposite end of the 11th dimension. At first, this idea wasn't taken very seriously, but eventually it would be re-examined. For physics was about to ask whether our universe was really alone. 